Good evening and welcome back to Halcyon 6. I'm Modi Operandus. We just got our third crew member last episode. And so we have all three ships represented now. Now he is low leveled, he's level one. The rest of the guys are level three or four now. Um, and a lot of victories under their belt at this point. So uh, we will not uh, we will not go to the to new Terra just yet. We're not making that mistake again. Um, the return home part two. Yeah, yeah. We've checked massive readings, bio readings from New Terra. We fear the worst. Now that you have three full ships, send it to investigate the situation. Last time we did this, we ended up dead uh, because we tried to save the, the the moon colony that was there. And I'd I'd love to do that, but we can just wait before we enter into that whole arrangement there. Um, we do have some situations we can take care of. We do need to try to expel these guys from here. Might be a good thing to do once we have a few levels under our belt. Uh, depends on if we can have our guy hold on long enough here. It's good. It's close to falling, I'm sure. They've been there for about 20 days now, and uh, I don't think they're going to hold it much longer. But we're going to go after, go after, uh, let's see, Pirate Officer Morn Mark 1 and Shiv Mark 1. Or, uh, one of these two. Let's just take care of one of them. Let's do whoever's closest. Send the fleet. And our first outing with all the classes represented. And what, do you, what are the odds we die immediately? Pretty good. Not so good. Uh, confirm and confirm. And let's take a look here quick and see the tech to research. If there's anything we can unlock here. Uh, so we have the rogue class ship. We can actually do some upgrades. We need 150 scrap. But basically this will increase your damage and evasion uh, for the ship. Plus 10% damage and 5 evasion. Um... So little upgrades you can do to your ships. Uh, this one is locked because we have to unlock the Marksman class ship. This is the tier one ship. Um, requires us to build new ships though if we do this though. This one applies to all classes, all of the rogue classes. So it depends on how you want to do it because you can either spend money to get the upgraded ships. To fly uh, tier one ships, you need a certain level of officer though. And let's take a look here quick and see. Um, they can fly tier one ships and tier two ships uh, requires level four. So we can't even fly them necessarily just yet. Um, so we have to wait on that one, I think, as far as the tech research goes here. Because this is this is technically a tier. Oh, it's a tier one ship. Never mind. We can actually fly that now. It's going to require building another ship. But it might be fun to do that. So let's do this, actually. Let's research it. It's only it's only 1640. And that unlocks the next ship class. Ship management here. Let's go ship construction. See what's gonna cost us if we wanna build that one. Um, the Marksman tactical ship takes 550 dark matter and it takes three days to build. But has uh, some new abilities. Bullseye, single enemy, vulnerable. Has a uh, weapons disruption, which is a new one we haven't seen before. And uh, sensors off, exploit sensors offline. So this is kind of cool. Um, yeah, the fact that it doesn't, uh, that's a new one for sure. So, okay, let's get triple shot. This is all enemies too. That's awesome. Um, this is actually a good combo with our science officer too. If they can get, if we get sensors offline on everybody and do the triple shot, we can actually hit, hit all three of them with the, with the, um, bonus there if we want to. Good, good to keep in mind. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, do we want to take a look and see if we want to upgrade any other classes here? Disciple class ship. This requires us 40, 40 materials. We don't actually have this yet, so we can't research it. But disciple class ship um, is the upgrade for the science. All right. All right. Well, let's get this. Let's, let's get the fleet sent out here. Uh. All right. Let's get going here. All right. Launching the fleet for cuts corpses. And, uh, Commander, we can now launch three full starships. We should consider investigating the troubling bio readings from new, coming from New Terra. Yeah, I know. We will. We will soon. Just not yet. We need to get ourselves some levels here first. Uh, equipped with massive tough hulls, engineering vessels can be also be equipped with specialized drone units that can repair friendly vessels and disassemble, disassemble foes. Uh, I think this guy here is the engineering vessel. Mm, no, no, I don't know. It's hard to say what that whole thing was about there. It's explaining our, our new uh, knight to us, maybe, is the idea. Same strategy still applies. Add the speed on, I think. And he's uh, slow moving, but he's got a lot, lot of hull, I think, is the idea there. All right, so. Um, 
Let's get this guy. Resisted the damp, resist the attack, but this guy can probably take him out. Let's see, he's got 105. Anything that can do 105? Not really. Resist the engines down, unfortunately. Um, oh, we have a Flix Hull Breach. That's kind of nice. Uh, I dare say we might want to go after this guy first. The Hull Breach. And we're ready for it. Incarceration Beam. Okay. Resisted the effects of it, whatever it did. Uh, and now we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of a uh, sensors offline for all these guys. Nice, resisted, but he's not gonna be around much longer. Uh, like I said, he's got uh, 91. This can do max of 94. So uh, harass is probably the better thing to go with here. There we go. All right. So now he's got hull breach. Sensors offline. Inflicts the ship disable, exploits group panic, exploits engines offline. Uh, let's let's inflict some ship disable on this guy if we can. Resisted the disable, but took a little damage at least. Uh, Alright, so I think we have to actually do the hull breach on this guy now. Exploit that, and then actually we'll inflict another one. Oh, you know what we'll do is do engines down on this guy quick if we can. There we go, and this guy can take advantage of that then. Uh, we'll just do some slight damage to this guy this way. Not a whole lot. Alright, so now he can exploit that. And then we're gonna actually exploit this one. That's it. Wow. Three ships make short work of it, for sure, with all the combos we can do. And if we get a level up, incoming hypercast, sir. Federation, you may have vaporized my sub altern. But your pesky Federation freighters will melt before my flagship's guns. That being said, I suggest a grand bargain between Cut and the Federation. Come to my position, so that we may converse freely. Or engage in glorious combat. The choice is yours. Alright. Well, do we want to deal with this guy? Or not? Okay, so ramming speed exploits engines down. This is the one that actually inflicts uh, self-hull breach. Ugh, don't want to necessarily do that. Salvage Harpoon inflicts... Target sensors and defensive systems inflict sensors offline and vulnerable. That's kind of cool. And uh, exploits crew panicked, inflicts ship disable. So this is kind of the opposite of uh, the other one, but death from above had a negative effect to it too, I think. So let's go with the salvage harpoon. And uh, objective complete, we got 300. Man, it's awesome. Okay. So, um... We need to big. I think we need to attack each one of these and get the rewards for them. Cause that gave us 300, that's actually huge. Uh, that's really huge. We can't build on their ship yet. It's not that huge. But um, if one of these gives us dark matter instead, that might be. All right, so we can actually go to this one safely, I think, before we go to this one. Um, let's return home here quick. We don't want to take on any other rough parts, just to level a little bit. Actually, you know, I think we could probably take out these guys. Now I'm looking at it here. Um, Mark two versus two shivs and two shivs versus us. I think we've got that one. I think we got that in the bag. Uh, let's go send the fleet there. And um, yeah, we should get a little reward for that one too. Uh, distress signal. Oh, Krul showed up at the one of our mines. Oh, this is the mine we actually already own. Okay. Ooh, Elder Clipper too. Oh, they're getting more serious out here. See, that's what I mean. Like, you have a bit of a problem here. A lot of elders now. And elders are probably like the tier two or three here now. Uh, let's see. Where are we going here? All right. Start the combat. We got this, guys. Speed it up. And get the speed, control the board. That's the idea. And we're all hit now. That's a good move. That's a good move. Uh, let's try engines offline on this guy. Start down there. Um, inflict sensors offline. This actually will take him out, I think. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. Let's just do the exact same thing as this guy, then. 
And uh, we don't have anything else that can do that, but we're gonna flip sensors offline, everybody. Both of them, nice. You hit anyways, but um, do this here quick. It's a good combo. This guy's got a, a good strong attack for that move. Now he's gonna be missing. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna crippling shot at him if we can. It's working. It's working okay. It's working okay. Uh. Let's see. Let's cauterize this, this bad boy here. Fill our friends up a little bit, and he will go with a exploit that engines off the line here. 128. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, let's try the hull breach on this guy. The sensors off the line will prevent him from retaliating too easily. Uh, and we can actually exploit that hull breach if we wanted to, but we're going to cauterize our friend here first. Get everybody healed up pretty well. Alright, he did a little damage there. Let's try another sensitive offline on this guy if we can. Vulnerable too. Oh, this is going to be a huge shot now. Watch this. Wow. And now, the piece de resistance. 245, holy cow. Yeah. This is a good, we get some good combos coming up here. And another 50. All right. And a promotion, this is what we're looking for here. Okay, so, Pepper Bomb. This is, this is ground combat again. Uh, drone takedown, single target. Target's mechanical, exposed. Yeah, that might work. Uh, smoke out. Group attack, exploits afflicted. And, uh, or the group attack. Splits blinded. All right. I think what we're gonna do is the group attack here for smoke out, maybe. Or that. All right. So this is another one. That's uh, that's right up our alley as well. What's it take to get there? Another fifteen. We're really in good shape here. Ah, I kind of tempted us to run over there and see what we can do with that. It's not like we're going to be able to save this one too easily, because they have us a lot of good ships on that one now. Um, tell you what, though. Let's do it anyways. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do that one. Uh, okay, Golda got uh, a star now, it looks like. So they are known. They got a crewman for plus three aim, which is good. Always, It's always good. And Neb has been destroyed. Show location. Yeah, we knew that was coming. As I said, we knew that was coming, kind of. Um, damage versus Yablings, great. Or damage resistance versus Yablings. Alright, so we've arrived. A little more combat. Speed it up again. It's worked so far. Strategy's been working. Alright, what do we got here now? Um, this was working for a good combo before. We'll try this. Evaded it. Oh, no! We didn't count on that. Actually, that actually throws things for a loop here, actually. Um... If you can strike, I guess, then maybe he can take him out? Let's do this, actually. Let's do crippling shot on this guy now. Resist to the crippling shot. Shoot. I'll reach on this guy. Is it enough? Take him out. Yes. Uh, let's do this. Is this enough damage? Uh, this flak barrage might be enough damage on its own. Not quite enough. We left on this little sliver, and I hate doing that. Oh, we gotta do it anyways. Alright. Uh, we'll have, uh, Illyria cauterize next turn here. go. Aggravated Assault. Nice evasion. Alright, let's do some sensors offline on this guy. Resist to the sensors offline. Okay. Let's do a little engines down on this guy. Resisted that too. Okay. Let's try a little sensors offline on this guy again. 
He's good at resisting systems damage, I think, is the deal here. Let's try getting it on the inside and blowing up from the inside out. There we go. Sabotage worked. And it's 108 damage over four rounds. Pretty good. Uh, let's do this then. Just a little bit of damage. Burn him down a bit. Uh, let's try this. Disable the ship, maybe. There we go. Everybody's vulnerable to something. So he's, uh, he, had, he was disabled and he attacked anyways. That's interesting. Uh, now we have this, though. Oh, we don't have anything that exploits the ship disabled, does it? Is it? Okay, no, we don't. Um, engine's down. Again, resisting the engine's down. I don't think it's enough. Nope, not enough. It's alright, we got one more turn here. Very nice, very nice. Teamwork. 63 and 61, pretty good. And another 50. Now we're talking here. Okay, let's go take a look at our ship uh, construction again here. What do we need for that next, uh, for the marksmanship? 550, we're not even getting too close here. Um, all right, good enough though. So we're way over here. Uh, if we head back this way, it's gonna actually take more fuel to get there, I think. It's 14. Otherwise we bring the crew home and uh, it won't cost nearly that much. Okay, let's bring the crew home here. Uh, no, we're gonna send you guys home. All right. Come back and relax. Damage bonus versus yablings, 10%. Wow, it's a lot actually. All right, so this is full up again of fuel. We're losing the entire Tiger Federation though, right now. We're almost to the point where we can fight back though. I don't know if we can handle these guys. But, um... Hmm... What else could we do here? Well, I guess we could explore around the other areas here, maybe. And see if we can get more stuff. Send the fleet into here, grab the 29 fuel with that. We had fit, we had to have like 60. Uh, we could explore around a little bit more. Um, so we're not gonna do that. Let's do that. Let's, uh... Or do we want to take a look and see about other upgrades here first? Let's do tech upgrades here. Okay, let's take a look here quick. So we order, uh, warder class ship. Engineering ship mark two. These are fairly cheap to get access to. Then we can at least plan, kind of plan our upgrades here then. Um, if we want to do like further upgrades for one of the types of classes or if you want to get the better classes maybe. It probably would be a solid investment to do that early on here. So we're gonna get both of those so we can actually see what the, the progression is like here. Um, and get an idea of uh, our roadmap here. Okay, so let's take a look here quick. So the marksman ship, tactical ship, would add on bullseye, which exploits vulnerable, uh, inflicts weapons disruption, and there's a line. Now we don't have anything that inflicts vulnerable, I think. Not really. No, we don't have anything that inflicts that. Okay, so that might not be the best fit right now. Let's take a look at the warder here. Inflicts hull breach, single enemy for 72. Uh, inflicts, there's the invulnerable, okay, yeah. And then heals, interesting, okay, for a lot, actually. 144, that's pretty good. Okay, that's good to know. Cheaper to build also, 3 350 versus the other one here, which this might be a good way to going then. And then the disciple as uh, inflicts crew panic on a single enemy. And Sizer Beam exploits weapons disruption. And then adaptive armor. Oh boy. Well, this one's gonna have to wait because it's gonna cast the most dark matter, but we can actually upgrade the engineering. And I think this actually would be a good fit because it inflicts a couple of things we can't inflict normally and uh, also has a heal to it. And so a second person that can heal would be great. Plus he'll have his normal salvage harpoon. Which, um, let's take a look and see... Officer's quarters... And... I can't see what that is. Uh, I really want to see what that is. Oh, well. Alright. Oh, maybe we can re review it there. Um... These guys are almost a level 4. Let's get them to a, maybe a, a normal battle here. Uh, ground battle. 
Let's send uh, Golda to check this out. And um, let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, distress signal received at the Westerland Fuel Refinery. Do we know about this one? It's up here. Okay, we have not explored that one yet. We have an elder basher, younger and young. Uh, okay, uh, that, might, that might be okay. I think I guess this is a tier two ship, tier three ship. These guys are all tough though. These guys are. There's no such thing as easy fight when it comes to those guys. Um. All right, so we have a uh, cut we have to meet with over here. I still kind of want to explore around over here to see if these have anything we can use from them. Like this one, this one had to be all four of these here. I'm not too worried about crew right now. We do have a spot we can get crew from still. But maybe to hit, that, hit the rounds over there, maybe. Uh. All right, well, we have to wait for this to finish up. Two days remaining. Okay, let's just finish those two days up here quick. We have a ship coming to visit us anyway, so we should probably wait. Uh, this will be the Corzon. Knowledge, let's play through here and talk to them quick here. Corzon Delegate arrived, I'll put you through now. Human friends, greeting from O'Neir and the Corzon's consensus. Many considerations to you and your people, Commander. We came as soon as we sensed the, sensed the tremendous outgrowth of psychic torment from the new Terra. By now, I'm sure you have too have discovered the terrible tragedy that has befallen your race. The Federation is crippled, and you, my child, must pick up the pieces. But be heartened, human, for Ornir will aid you in whichever manner you desire. Fantastic. Resources and ships would suffice. Uh, why am I suspicious? Of course we can't offer you physical aid, per se. We're more imagining counsel, advice, and an admittedly scaly shoulder to cry on, more in that vein. So, what kind of counsel are you offering? Well, of course we can't offer you many visions of the future. That would be highly destabilizing. And as you know, would run counter to our sacred task of guiding and pruning the continuum. But there's one piece of premonition we can may impart on you, if you will accept it. Sure, lay it on me. Do not trust the Collective, or the Zlar, or the Yabling. They are conspiring against you to seize your station. In fact, don't trust anyone except your friends the Corzon. That's it. Oh dear, is that the time? I must fear, I must be off. The Collective must properly be warned, pro promptly be warned of a terrible, mista terrible mistake it's about to make. I do apologize, but extra century knowledge is a heavy, heavy burden. Please do come by Ornir sometime, the desert air is deliciously dry this season. Alright, so we have Ornir on the, the distance here, we can send the fleet out to do some diplomatic improvement with them, it looks like. Um, we haven't met the other races just yet, though. Okay, so they're, they're leaving here, let's, 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 let's do our rounds here like I wanted to before. So, uh, I'll send a fleet to here. We'll have it all, all three guys, of course. Launch the fleet and repair all. There we go. Transfer the fuel. Leave that system and then we'll head over to here for 14. And damage versus pirates or resistance versus pirates is good. And we have, oh, we have a, a bit of an issue here now. Oh, uh, Dark Max. Oh, yes, please. Greetings, somewhat. So it's nice, to, good, God, great to see someone fighting those things, Commander. We caught some of the footage coming from Nutera. Disgusting, horrifying things. We'll do anything we can to help you. What we have here, Commander, is a fully functional dark matter extractor. While we wouldn't mind being extracted to your location, it sounds like dark matter might come in handy for you. Taking that account, we'll stay here and sit. keep extracting as long as you say the word. All right, so they have 85 people there. They have eight dark matter per day. Current is 252. Yes, transfer it all. Thank you, and you'll keep working for us, I hope. All right, so it looks like we have a couple of weaker guys heading to Ghost Head. And Ghost Head is here. Okay, that's the one we always use. We definitely want to defend that one. We'll let them get entrenched there for the moment, because it'll be okay to hit that one on the way back home, I think. Um, for now, let's start exploring these, though. Another three for that. Uh, oh, another mining facility. Yes, continue production. Transfer it? Yes! Man, okay, now we're, rest we're restocked here. Um, send the fleet. Uh, okay, yep. Acknowledge, thanks. We'll be there in a minute. Just don't you worry here. Oh, yeah, continue production for sure. Transfer it. Yep. Holy cow. Okay, we're getting tons of materials now. Let's send the fleet here. Another five. 
Bruins, okay. And the new Terra is the next stop. Oh boy, do we want to stop and see what's going on there? Oh, another, oh man, continue production, nice. It's system, cool. We have a lot of, a lot of new production, a lot of places to f defend now, if uh, they get into trouble though. And now we're right by new Terra. And we have 41 fuel, and we have fully repaired ships. Do we do it? Well, I think we can next episode. So I think next episode we'll go to New Terra and see what's going on there. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Elcyon 6. I'll be back tomorrow to see what's going on at New Terra. And we won't get in over our heads like we did last time, hopefully. Uh, that's the plan anyways. That's where it all went south for us last time. And uh, the way this is going right now around the galaxy here, it's not looking great. But uh, yeah, we might have to abandon the colony uh, of uh, for our own survival, for the sake of our own survival for now. We got to defend these guys, though. This is one we got to defend. That one we are actually able to defend, I think. But we'll revisit that next time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night.